Joni Siwa, best known as Jojo Siwa, is a former cast member of the reality show Dance Moms and now a singer, actress, and YouTube personality. Her talent matched with her bubbly and energetic personality have earned her millions of fans from all around the world. The 17-year-old currently has 10 million followers on Instagram and 12 million followers on YouTube. Today, we are going to take a look at some of the most outrageous things Jojo Siwa has ever done for YouTube. This is a list you do not want to miss. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini or MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First, let's have a look at Jojo's rude comments on Dance Moms. After starting her career on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, Jojo Siwa rose to fame on the show Dance Moms, which aired on Lifetime in America from 2011 to 2017. Jojo joined the cast in season five and very quickly started rubbing people the wrong way with her outspoken personality. There were many moments throughout her time on the show when Jojo annoyed and offended her teacher, Abby Lee Miller, the other dancers and their mothers, and there are a few compilations showing her rudest moments. One scene shows the girl stretching and warming up before a dance class. Teammate Mackenzie is talking about how she wants to do a tap solo and Jojo laughs at her, scoffing and making faces. You can see the other girls look surprised at the way she's acting. In an episode from season six, teammates and Kendall and Maddie are supposed to do a Michael Jackson duet together. But Maddie is busy with other commitments, so Abby replaces her with Jojo and Kendall is not happy about it. While she is in another room crying, Jojo mocks and makes fun of her. She says, I would love to do this MJ dance as a solo because I am MJ. A bit of an exaggeration there. Like, dude, I would love to do this MJ dance as a solo because I am MJ. Next is the JoJo's Juice series. When JoJo first started YouTube in 2016, she had a series called JoJo's Juice, where at the end of the videos, she would pour juice all over herself. What a mess that would have been. She would have had to have a shower straight after to get all that juice off and clean the area up. How many parents would let their children pour drinks over themselves? Probably not many at all. Here is a moment where she crossed the line with a fake story about her dad being in an accident. YouTubers work very hard to create good and fun content that viewers will enjoy, and they often do crazy things to get views and likes. Jojo's no exception. In one of Jojo's earliest videos, she pulled a prank for which she received backlash. In the video, Jojo is sitting on a bed next to her brother Jaden and she begins by saying that their father has just been hit by a bus while they were all out walking around and he is now in critical condition in the hospital. She has a straight, serious expression on her face as she's telling the story, a huge difference from her usual happy self. For most of the video, Jaden looks at the floor but smirks at the camera for a brief moment. In the end, Jojo and Jaden burst out laughing and say that the story story was fake. She says they just wanted the views and because they didn't have any clickbait, they came up with the near death story. Their parents join in as they wrap up the video. Fans instantly turned on Jojo, posting angry comments, criticizing her actions, and some said that they were hurt as they had experienced near death and loss of family members. Jojo learned the hard way not to joke about accidents and tragedies. She could have ruined her career and it's shocking that her parents allowed her to post it. It definitely looks like Jojo learned her lesson since her image has been squeaky clean ever since. In this one, Jojo was given the responsibility of babysitting twins for 24 hours. Two years ago, Jojo posted a video with the title Babysitting Twin Babies Overnight, in which she took care of Tatum and Oakley Fisher while their parents, actors Kyler and Madison, went out for the night. The video starts off with Jojo arriving at the Fisher's house and saying hello to Kyler, Madison, and their twin daughters. Kyler and Madison tell Jojo they trust her and give her instructions like keep the house clean and put the girls to bed at a decent hour. In the beginning, it appears that Jojo has everything under control and is doing a good job, but it quickly changes. Jojo offers them ice cream, Tatum and Oakley take two each and get chocolate everywhere. After saying one of them did a number two, the video cuts to a new scene. Of course, all videos are edited, but one would hope Jojo changed the diapers. The twins are standing on what looks like the kitchen counter dancing with Jojo. Having two toddlers doing that may not be the best idea. The three of them go into a room with toys all over the floor and Jojo lets the twins put makeup on her. They use the makeup to draw on the dresser. This would have gotten Jojo into trouble and sure enough, Kyler and Madison arrive home early and are not happy with what they see. It ends well though with Madison thanking Jojo for coming and they give each other high fives. Now, a lot of teenagers take babysitting jobs as a way to earn their own money, but all parents must feel nervous leaving their children with someone who is a child themselves, right? Kyler and Madison were most probably wondering what was happening at home. Now let's talk about the 100 Happy Meals in One Day Challenge. Another challenge Jojo has done is the 100 Happy Meals in One Day Challenge. Just as the title suggests, this challenge involves eating 100 
100 Happy Meals from McDonald's in one day. Normally, people would not want to eat so much greasy and fatty food in one day, especially when they have to go to work the next day like JoJo said she was going to do. Sometimes eating one fast food meal can make you sick, can't it? She goes ahead with it anyway, starting with a few cheeseburgers. She stuffs them in her mouth, and at one point, she doesn't unwrap the burger. She eats the paper as well. Unbelievable. As well as cheeseburgers, the meals include chicken nuggets, french fries, and juice to drink. All the McDonald's Happy Meal boxes are on the stairs behind JoJo. It would have been expensive for whoever bought them. It's amazing she wasn't violently ill after eating all of that. It would be fair to think that this video was sponsored by McDonald's, but it was not. Most parents don't allow their children to eat so much fast food, but anything for the views, right? Here's another video of her eating a lot in one day. This time, JoJo eats 150 different flavors of shave ice, which she says she's obsessed with and orders at least once a day. Some of the flavors she has in this video include lemon, banana, pineapple, guava, and passion fruit. She only takes one bite of each one before moving on to the next. You would hope that someone eventually ate it all, otherwise it would be such a waste, wouldn't it? It's good that she's taking small bites, so she doesn't end up with brain freeze. A little over halfway though, Jojo says, I'm running into a problem, my tummy hurts, but she is determined to complete the challenge of eating all 150 flavors. That is dedication. Again, it's amazing she didn't get sick after that. Next up, makeovers with James Charles. Jojo and makeup artist James Charles collaborated on two videos for each other's YouTube channels. In these videos, Jojo and James gave each other makeovers. James removed all of Jojo's sparkly makeup and the iconic bow in her hair to create a glamorous look. At the end, her hair was down and she was wearing a plain white top. Without the bow, glitter, and rhinestones, Jojo looked older and more mature. Jojo made James look like her by putting a pink star, purple heart, and glitter on his face, an artificial blonde ponytail on his head, and dressing him up in rhinestone clothes, giving him the classic Jojo Siwa look. Fans of both stars had varied opinions on these makeovers. Some loved their new looks while others criticized them. James even received death threats for the collaboration. Neither of them kept their new looks as they're happy with the way they are. The teen spent 24 hours in her car. In a video from April this year, Jojo spent 24 hours in her car, the Jojo Siwa Tesla. Yes, you heard right. She has her own electric car, which has her face all over it. At the start of the video, viewers can see another car personalized with bright colors, unicorns, and stars. Very Jojo, right? Before getting into the car and locking the doors, she went to her merchandise room to get some supplies, and wow, it's unbelievable that she has a room full of her own products. <laughs> she takes some toys, her laptop, and some bracelets and pillows into her car, which looks spacious. It even has a screen to watch movies. Jojo keeps herself occupied by singing, FaceTiming a friend, scrolling through her phone, and talking to her brother who briefly appears in the car. She actually managed it really well, although it's surprising she didn't have to go to the bathroom. Burning YouTuber books. Jojo collaborated with Miranda Sings on a video for the actress's channel. This video shows Jojo arriving at Miranda's house late and saying she is too busy to do the collabs they had planned to do together. The two show viewers the books they have each written and Miranda threatens Jojo. She tells her that if she doesn't stay and do a bunch of collabs with her, she will burn her book. They go outside for a competition to see which one of their books will burn. They make a deal where if Jojo's book burns, she has to stay and do the collabs and if Miranda's book burns, she has to be Jojo's friend. Nobody should ever burn a book. So this was outrageous. This wraps up the video. Thank you for watching.